Hey guys, Lastcast here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the first part of my BM Hunter PvP guide. This is going to be a four-part series, and in this episode we'll be having an in-depth look at the talents. In the next episode, we will be covering macros, and it's just going to go on from there. I'm also going to be discussing rotation and PvP tips and stuff like that in future episodes to come. So let's have a look at our talents here. Now this is probably the best talent build that I can currently find. For my BM Hunter at the minute, I've been doing a lot of BGs, a bit of arena, and I'm just going to go through the choices and give some in-depth explanation for these choices throughout this guide. So if we have a look at our level 15 talents, we have post-aged, whenever we disengage it will free us from all movement impairing effects and increase our movement speed by 60% for 8 seconds. Narrow escape, when you disengage you also activate a web trap which will snare the target, and crouching tiger hidden chimera which will reduce the cooldown of our disengage by 10 seconds and the, the cooldown of our deterrence by 60 seconds. I see this to be the most crucial talent here because without this we've got some really long cooldowns on two of our main defensive cooldowns which we have to use as a hunter. Now what I suggest with this is that you take this take this talent just to get the cooldown reduction. It's crucial. Everything does an insane amount of damage now in Mr. Pandaria PvP wise whether that's in BG's arenas and you still want to be able to kite really effectively as a hunter. Bear in mind that when you're using this there are also slows that you can put on you to your target as well such as with your ice trap you'll be able to put a slow on them and then disengage out and it means that you're going to have a quicker cooldown. You can also conch shot them for a slower as well and you can also use Glatos as well and I will go into that in a bit more detail as to why that is my sort of level 90 choice there. So I definitely recommend the cooldown reduction. It's really really important. I'm just going to go over to the train dummy here and just have a quick look. So there we go, that's the, that's the disengage going off there, back from the target, and we got the, we got the cooldown there, and that has been reduced to 15 seconds, I believe. I'm just going to quickly check that here now. So there we go, it is now back off cooldown and ready to be used again. So I would definitely recommend that as your first choice. Okay, now we're going to go into the level 30 talents. Here we've got Silencing Shot, which we should all be pretty familiar with, as we used to use this as MM um, back in Cataclysm. We've then got Wyvern Sting, which will put the target to sleep for 30 seconds. I believe that is 6 seconds on a player in a BG or Arena. And then we have a Binding Shot as well, which will put an arrow on the ground. And if anyone stays within the range of that arrow, they are stunned for 5 seconds or 3 seconds in PvP as it states there. Now, for me, Silencing Shot is just way too useful to not have. It's basically why we're now able to play BM as opposed to MM. It was a major ability for us back in Kata. That ranged silence that's an interrupt as well. It can be a game changer in an arena match because when you've got that, see that big heal incoming, you've got no form of CC, your melee can't get to them for the interrupts, it means you've got that interrupt there and you're going to be able to get a kill. It's a way of getting pressure out. Silence shot is amazing for this. It's, it's also great on a rep paladin or something like that to stop the cast while, while you're going for the kill on them. I definitely recommend this over the other two. It is just too crucial to have as that interrupt there. Okay, so level 45. Now, here is where we get a couple of interesting choices which I can see. We've either got Exhilaration, which is a 30% self-heal of 100% of your total health. And then we have Spirit Bond as well. While your pet is active, you and your pet will generate 2% of your total health over every two seconds. The reason why I'm not mentioning aspects of the Iron Hawk here too much is because with the aspect switching we have to do as a hunter from one aspect to the other it is not entirely useful to have you not going to be having that damage reduction there constantly now i'm going to go into a bit more detail over exhilaration and spirit bond here with exhilaration that big burst self heal is another defensive cooldown for us to use in a bg or arena now we all know that dots are a hunter's worst enemy in an arena match to be fair so th this is gonna mean that you'll be able to get a big burst heal off on yourself whenever your healer is cc'd or something like that it's a great way to regenerate some extra health now bear in mind this ability is affected by your readiness as well which means that you can perform two heals for 60 percent of your total life now the reason why i'm mentioning spirit bond here as well if you're playing a triple dps comp in freeze or you're playing double dps in twos i would actually recommend taking spirit bond over exhilaration now the reason why is because when you stampede 
all of your pets will also use that regenerating effect. So it's going to be effective when you're bursting a target down very fast, as you do do as a triple DPS cop or a twos cop, while you're being focused. So that means you're going to be getting all that self-healing, and then you're going to be able to do all the damage as well. Whereas if I was playing a more sort of standard cop like KFC, Fug Cleave, something like that, I want my offensive cooldowns to be there offensively, and then when my healers in CC, I want to have the self-healing potential myself, and that's the sort of comps that I'm going to be playing, so I've taken exhilaration there, but do not forget about Spirit Bond, and I hope what I've said there has made some sort of sense. Okay, right, so level 60, we have Fervor, which will give us 50 focus back for ourselves and our pets, which is quite nice, and that has actually changed a little bit. Oh yeah, because it does it over 10 seconds now. It's not actually boom. Oh no, it instantly restores 50 focus to you and your pet and an additional 50 focus over 10 seconds. My bad. Right, okay. So, yep, yeah, Fervor is, is still pretty nice because it gives us a big boost of our focus back. Dire Beast, I'm a bit disappointed by this because the damage on the beast you summon just doesn't seem to be anywhere close or anything like that. And you'll also get a bit of focus back through this. You'll gain 5 focus each time the beast deals damage. And then the talent I've taken here is Thrill of the Hunts. This is amazing. You have a 30% chance when you fire a ranged attack that costs focus or kill command to reduce the focus cost of your next three arcane shots or multi shots by 20%. When we are bursting, this is absolutely ridiculous because it means that we've got our, our burst up, we're going to be using our kill command and everything else, and then our arcane shots are, are going to have their focus reduced, which means we can get more of them off. It's an insane amount of damage. It adds a ridiculous amount to our burst, I definitely recommend taking this over those two. I'm just going to try to show you that ability proccing on a training dummy over here. So let's go on to this one, close this down for a minute. So I'm going to go in here, I'm, going to, I'm actually going to pop everything. And there we go, you can see the highlighted arcane shot there, and now we're able to just keep on spamming arcane shot, which is really, really nice. And there we go, I'm still spamming it, I'm not running low on focus at all. And there we go, the, the proc has gone. Okay, right, let's return our pet back to here. So that is a really nice way for you to get some extra damage up on your target. Okay, right, so now we're going to be looking at the level 75 talents here. So we have a murder of crows. Now, I'm very disappointed by this talent again. I tried using this on beta quite a bit. I even went to some BGs when I hit 90 and tried this out. Birds it summons seem to take an absolute age to get to the target, and when they do, they just don't seem to do anything at all. The damage on them is stupidly low, let's say that much. And basically, it also says if it's used on a target below 20% health, its cooldown is reduced to 60 seconds. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm playing a hunter, <laughs> I don't tend to have any focus whenever a target is on 20% health. I'm trying to spam my kill shot, get the kill in there, or anything like that, so the fact that it has that... Reduced cooldown is just kind of negated there. Now we've got Blink Strike here as well. Causes your pet to instantly teleport behind the enemy target up to 40 yards away and inflicts 100% normal damage. Now the reason why I'm taking Lynx Rush over Blink Strike is quite simply put, Blink Strike is one shot. It is one hit of your pet dealing that extra damage. Whereas Lynx Rush is multiple strikes. It's nine times over four seconds. When you're bursting your target, when you've got your beast steel wrap up, your trinkets up, and all that other kind of good stuff such as rapid fire, you want your damage to be burst damage to be over time. You don't want it to all be in one strike, so to speak. And that's why Blink Strike isn't as good in my mind as Link Rush. You're going to be doing a bit more burst of stain, if that makes any sense at all, that analogy I've just given there. So, yep, yeah, take Link Rush over Blink Strike. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh my cooldowns here um, with readiness and I'm just going to go over to this target dummy I'm going to get my pet on and I'm just going to pop Lynx Rush here so there we go, there's my pet just Lynx Rushing, I'm doing nothing else here just to show you guys the sort of effect and the damage you're getting off that is pretty insane, I didn't actually burst with that and yeah, that is just an awesome ability for our level 75 talents and remember to use that in conjunction with Stampede as well okay, right, so level 90 we have three choices here. These are all the new abilities we get at this level. We've got Glaive Toss. You heard two Glaives towards the target, each dealing 4,933 damage. And 
Each enemy struck will reduce their movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds. And the primary target will take 4 times as much damage from each strike. If you can get to a position where you're up against a number of players that are flagging something, you can glove toss it in, you'll start to see the damage start to stack up. It's, it's actually quite nice. It was something I wasn't expecting the first time I did it. It actually was quite a nice AoE. And this is the same when people are pillar humping in, in arena as well, especially if you're against a very heavy caster-based team that is going to pill up you round and stuff like that you get a nice bit of damage of it and that slow is just amazing it means for example that when you're on your target you can glaive toss and then disengage out as well so they've got the slow on them they're gonna have to run to you which is brilliant so it's a really nice ability now the other two choices we do have here now I've played around with these as well is power shot which will do a knockback now the, it's got a one minute cooldown this ability as opposed to our glaive tosses 15 second cooldown and it does take a bit of time to cast 2.89 seconds. Now this might be, you might be thinking this is useful for an opener. I actually tried opening a, a, a player with this in a duel and it just seemed to do not much damage at all. And the last option we've got here is Barrage. Rapidly fire a spray of shots forward, uh, dealing a total of 600% weapon damage to the enemy target. This is actually quite nice to finish someone off. I've noticed a couple, couple of hunters using this before but because of the slow we're getting from glaive toss and we've no longer got that root on our state trap and we've taken crouchy tiger hidden chimera up here i would recommend glaive toss over the other two talents on that tier i hope you enjoyed this guide guys this is going to be part one like i say part two will be released next week please subscribe to me for more additional hunter pvp and i'll see you next time bye